Hey, Earthlings, and we're back for uh, <laughs> more uh, more super liminal. Uh, we're continuing forward now. Uh, I don't really know of anything we could say to recap uh, the last one. Uh, ooh, banana. Jojo. Bart. Simpson. Okay. Feeling lucky? Oh. Let's see what this one... Oh. oh okay. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Now it says 5 a.m. But yeah, like I'm I'm really enjoying this game so far. It is Oh. Okay. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and despite touring the Waterfall Serenity Zone in the previous section you've just completed, you may still be experiencing feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong even when the sun is shining? It feels like he just is planning on continuing to talk, but he just stops. Uh, but yeah, this game is just, like, so crazy to me. Like, oh, oh, uh. Okay. But yeah, this game is, like, so crazy. Just everything that it can do. So, like, just everything it's able to actually succeed at doing is so cool. Just genuinely. Anyway, this area is uh, unnerving to me so far. So, let's just, uh, I may be talking just to keep myself feeling okay. Oh, that is red. And can we go in there? Ah! Oh my god, why did I do that? Uh, beans. What am I supposed to be doing here? Oh, okay. Oh, huh. So I'm guessing it relates to the ax the cardinal directions, the axes. <laughs> it goes from die to diet. That's cute. Uh more red. Oh. Huh. Okay. So we have to just like watch our step here to make sure that we don't fall. Oh, okay, cool. Hi, Glenn. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. You feel this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you, the kind you know everyone else oh. is enjoying. And that's exactly that's why evil. we're here to help. This is evil. Like, that's evil. Anyway... If you don't know, I'm mentally just trying to get past this section as fast as possible. <laughs> Genuinely. Oh. Oh. 
There's some stairs here. Okay. Warning. You were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. So, just like Inception, then, right? A dream within a dream. Oh. This is interesting. All right. Are we doing this? Oh, we can't do it again. Okay. Oh. I can fit in there, but I don't think I'm supposed to. Oh. I see. Did you know that unintentional multi-dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? This correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard orientation protocol. idea like Ikea oh I saw that oh my god I saw that oh oh the why was that terrifying Anyway, I'm glad we're done with that section because that section like actually was just like, I don't know why, but stuff like that scares me. Anyway, now that we're done with that, uh, I guess all we can do now is just go forward. Can we walk up this? Interesting. There's nothing up here, but it's pretty cool that you can at least do stuff like that. That section was one of the only parts of the game that I actually knew of going in. And, like, that part always is, like, what has scared me. <laughs> so I'm glad... I'm glad that part's over. Man, avocados. I do like avocados myself. Oh, that's a lot more. Oh. I enjoy avocados, but honestly, if anything, I think they're overrated. <laughs> like, they're perfectly good. They're perfectly enjoyable. But, like, are they, like, amazing food? No. But they're pretty good. Oh. Oh, it's just the music kicking in. Push, okay. Okay. So it's just like the other door. Alright. So that those are fixed to the ground. What if we take the door? Because there's nothing stopping us. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Exactly as... Oh. One. Oh. Uh-huh. 
All right. So there's two paths. What's this way? Oh, what's this way? I have to like rapidly click for this. It's just gonna keep going. Oh, and all of it's falling over. All it can do is multiply. Oh. I enjoy breaking machinery. Wait. Oh, I see. You're meant to make a slope. Is there... Yeah, and there's none over here. I understand. Anyway. Cool. So, this is Sky World, except no, it isn't. Attention. Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways. And other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. I mean, I already have bad memory loss as is. Right click to return. Alright, I think I see. Then, okay, this one needs to be bigger. Alright, there we go. And we can just keep going then, it appears. What if we do this? Nice. I only knew that there was an achievement for that. Oh, that's what it means. Ah, so that is what you had to do. You had to make it go off. Okay, so what is this about? What if we... Ah, uh, okay. Oh. Wait. So... The fan is stopping us... From... Uh, the apples. But what if we turn off the fan? Wait. Oh my god. Oh. That's genius. Warning. Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. Okay. Huh. Neat. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Can I pull it more? Nice. What if I pull this one? Okay. Uh, I'm going mad with power. I should... I should stop. <laughs> okay. Attention. 
Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello, my introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. All right. So, looks like we just... I'm taking this with me. Oh, oh no, it just multiplies. Okay. Pulling. I must break everything that I find. That is my new goal. Hello. Name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. To the okay. Sculpt Welcome Experience, team of your care leader, patient years 10 development. Conditions struggle you whatever with? Professional invention. Edge science with cutting, a tomorrow can bright. And buts, no ifs, or look good. Anyway. <laughs> Let's continue. Apple. Hey, Apple. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. It's now 7 a.m. Okay, but what if I don't go that way? Anyway, I think we can only go that way. The blue. Let's see what that's all about. Before we go in there, we gotta go this way, of course. Okay, now that we've gone that way, let's go the correct way. Sip, sip. Okay, time to go. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. Well, good thing I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, we're in a big room with a house. I imagine we do a little bit of shenanigans like this. I'm tiny. I'm a little baby man. A little baby. Look at how tiny I am. I'm I'm small. Oh. What's over here? Another door. You see, I want to go that way. But what's over here? Oh, it's exactly where we came from. Okay. So yeah, we just gotta go this way. <gasps> I'm too big. I need to get. Sm I need to get smaller. <laughs> okay. How about now? Now I really am a little baby. Perfect. Oh. Before I go in there, let's take this. Jamming out to some tunes. All right. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Everything 
should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. Oh, I can't take you with me anymore. I'm sorry, little radio. And is that Jenga? I think that's Jenga. Oh, where's that noise coming from? <laughs> it's it's not big enough. <laughs> it's not big enough. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even get to see it fall over. Oh well. Here we go. Huh. Neat. Uh. Uh-huh. So what do we do? What if we take the fan with us? Oh my god, you can take the window! And wait, if you make it big enough... You can fit right inside! Oh my god! This game! This game is so crazy! There is... What was that? What was that? Anyway, it appears we're in the locker room. No, like legit, I think this is just a locker room. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. Glenn Pierce really just do be saying, just don't be sad. Wow. Okay. Huh. So, from from what it looks like, I think we need to be able to get to, like, the next level. You know, here. Then I think what we need is I think we need to get into, uh, into this door, which, like, so. What the? Well, that's not what I was expecting, but let's go with it, I guess. Uh, oh. We are, uh, venting, like, in Among Us. What if we take it with us? Oh, we can't take it with us. Darn. Oh, wait. Perfect. Th that's, like, exactly what we need. Right? Yeah. We're good. We got it. Hi, Glenn. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations. Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction and we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. I don't I don't think that's going to happen.
Okay. Hmm. Well, my first thought... Well, wait, where does this go? That should be the first question is, where would this take us? All right, so it connects us to the other door. Wait. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay. I just realized what I could have done the entire time. All right, see, now all we have to do is go in here. Now we're big. Get it in there. Then do like this. See, exactly. I was just being dumb. All right, now to fall. I wonder if it was expecting me to do it that fast. I saw the house and I knew what to do. <gasps> I can pull another one. Yeah! The absolute. I don't know about that. Why is that cat deep fried? Or maybe I'm just looking at it wrong. I can't. Oh, never mind. Can't tell now. And it's going further beyond. Hmm. Emergency exit protocol initiate. Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in 10, 9, 8, error, error logged by orientation protocol. Stand by for analysis. Huh. Anyway. Window. <gasps> it's the red. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness and frustration. This is inconceivable, as Somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with a decrease in these emotions. It's like it's showing off everything that we've already seen so far in the game, that is. Uh, regardless... Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. Impossible. Reformulating. Improved hypothesis. Patient requires additional somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. <laughs> so, what do we do then? Instruction. Continue with somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis, as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. Oh, okay. Huh. I should mention, even though we're in the second episode, I've seen some of the stuff in this game already. So like, it's not all new to me, I guess is what I'm saying. Like, some of it is, but not all of it, you know? Oh, we're back. Let's go. Oh, we're back. And, like, I... Yeah, it's noticeably... Oh. Oh, oh. 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 Okay. Um. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. Seeing seeing some of the gameplay for this, like of course, I understand some of what's happening. But like, it's still like so so like crazy to actually like see without like knowing 
something's happening, you know? Like this, I know the whole thing you do is with the painting. Like, I know that. Ooh, the music's getting really nice, actually. But, like... I don't know everything. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you for completing the Somnusculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. Oh. So, like, there are some puzzles that I know the solution to, but not all of them. If, uh, if you, if you get what I mean. Oh my! What the fuck? Okay! Alright then! Oh! Oh my! <laughs> oh! Oh, this is getting... This is getting all crazy up in here! Okay. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire trial by fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. Oh, oh, I feel like it's going to make me fall here when I try to do this. Yeah, exactly! I called it! Okay. It's gonna be the floor. It's gonna be the floor. Yeah. It's the floor. Okay. Why is the music getting all frantic? Interesting. <gasps> yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Exit. Okay. Yeah, I know this puzzle. I know what this puzzle is. You look this way, and then you go the other way. So, you then look that way, and then go this way. I know this puzzle, because I watched a streamer I liked struggle with this puzzle so hard. <laughs> but, this is one of the only few puzzles that I actually, like, know. Like, myself, I guess is what I mean. I don't know this puzzle though, so. We're back in the I don't know zone, I guess is a... What? Okay. <laughs> don't just disappear on me. Were there fish in- there are fish in here. Interesting, that's cool. I'm taking you with me. And you're leaving me. Goodbye. Finally, while we respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up even with the help of triggering mechanisms. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. This game. I swear. Oh. <laughs> Oh. 
And uh, now that we're over here, uh, I'm going to leave this episode off here. We made a good chunk of progress, and this may be a long episode because of it. And if so, I'm sorry <laughs> in advance. Uh, but we'll pick it back up next episode by continuing Superliminal. Uh, have a good one, and bye bye <laughs>